super hot peppers can make you sweat, tear up, and even fill you with regret. But as Mark Straussman shows us, the hot pepper's powerful punch may help knock out cancer. Wherever he goes, Smoke and Ed Curry cultivates heat in greenhouses, warehouses, and even at home. He has spent 10 years developing what may be the world's hottest pepper. This stuff is hard. Yeah, no, it's, it's not easy to do at all. To do it right and get a stable uh, variety takes a lot of work and takes a lot of science. There's, it's not just your average backyard stuff. His backyard is covered with nuclear-grade pepper plants. Something called the Scoville scale measures a pepper's heat. The average jalapeno, pretty hot to most of us, measures about 5,000 Scoville units. But Curry's crossbreed of a sweet habanero and a Pakistani naga created his patented Carolina Reaper, a pepper 300 times hotter than a jalapeno. This year, his company will produce 17 million pounds of hot peppers. I was doing these crosses, trying to find something good, and this pod looked nasty. I fed it to one of the guys who was working to me for free, and he got violently ill immediately. I knew I had something there. That pepper could soon earn Ed the Guinness World Record for the hottest chili. They say they're weapons-grade peppers, but we still eat them. <laughs> you know, it's craziness. Hot peppers have become a food craze. I think the hallucinations are kicking in. My tongue. Some of these peppers um, and hot sauces sound painful, so just, why are they so popular? Those super hots release dopamine and endorphin in your system, just like if you're doing so, you know, a narcotic. You actually get a euphoric feeling okay, from, from eating them. So you get the burn that happens, but then there's a lot of pleasure afterwards. The burning feeling stems from a pepper's active ingredient, capsaicin. Oh, oh, they, oh, they Courage is no cure for capsaicin. It's the hottest pepper I've had in a long, long time, possibly ever. So as you can see, I'm still tearing up. <laughs> but capsaicin may help prevent cancer. Curry, a 49-year-old thyroid and skin cancer survivor, has had seven tumors removed from his body. Though there's no scientific proof that eating peppers prevents cancer, Curry has stayed cancer-free since he started eating hot peppers every day five years ago. I believe that peppers are, are one of the cures for cancer, okay? I really do. I've watched my mother die, I've watched friends die, I've seen other family members have died, and I just don't want to see anybody else die. You're not an oncologist? Mm -mm. You're not a cancer researcher? No. But there's something in your gut that tells you there's something going on here? Yes. But Dr. Michael Freeman is a cancer researcher. He says curry may be onto something. In the lab, capsaicin has killed cancer cells. Cancer cells can be induced to activate a suicide program biochemically by um, certain, sorts, certain sorts of molecular processes. And capsaicin is known to bind to a protein on the membrane of certain cells. And in response to this binding, the tumor cell responds by killing itself. Curry's so encouraged, he donated half his pepper harvest last year to cancer research. I have a precious baby daughter that God dropped in our laps. You know, and I want to be there when she graduates college. I want to be there when she gets married. You know, this is, this is no longer just maybe we can help someone. This is we have to help someone. You think the key to your own survival could be right the here. hours you spend right in your here. garden and hot house? Right here. This is why I'm passionate about what I do. This, this right here is going to keep me alive so I can walk my daughter down the aisle. You cute little girl. To Curry, creating the world's hottest pepper means more than bragging rights. It's about survival. For CBS This Morning, Mark Straussman, Fort Mill, South Carolina. And Smokin' Ed has a new reason to keep growing peppers and help cancer research. You heard him talk about his cute baby girl. Well, yesterday, he and his family welcomed a new cute baby boy. Edward Curry III has just arrived on the planet. That's good news. Yeah. I don't like to cry, guys, when I eat. But maybe if this pepper could help you with cancer, I might take, I might made sample a couple. You I, have, Jeff. I, I did a piece on hot sauce a little while back. I, I mean, maybe that. it will help, but I mean, they get some of these outrageously hot. And it's when they're specially engineering them, like he is here, we should bring mm -hmm. some on set. It's well, Friday, right? Thing, we have two what days I would like cover. to know when I see a story like that is have some smart cancer researchers wade in yep. and, and figure out whether it, it does have that kind of benefit. You know, and we hope that it does. Not, we really do. Are, do you like hot and spicy? I'll, if I had cancer or heart, I would do it in a second. Yeah, me too.
Right. Me too.